We don't know what's in here. Uh, that's part of the game. Okay. It's really a, a, about personal amusement. Reach in. Who knows what's in there? We don't know. Who or what are you unreasonably obsessed with? Hmm. Okay, that was tame. Oh, I I know. I was t- I've been talking about it all day. Um, probably either Friends or The Office. Friends or The Office. I have not stopped watching Friends in the Office in a back to back cycle for about four or five years now. Let's unpack that though. <laughs> why, why do you think that is? Is it comforting? It's so like, comforting. Okay. I mean, sometimes I'll be out with my actual friends and I just want to go home and hang out with my friend, my TV friends. What a weird time we live in. <laughs> I know. Do you have a favorite on either show? Pick either. <laughs> I, you know, I've watched The Office so many times and like my favorites change. Like currently I'm rewatching Friends Yeah, and like, you know, of course I like, I love Phoebe, but like right now I'm like, gosh, like Phoebe kind of gets like, kind of turns into a pain in the ass around this she part does. of season seven <laughs> where she's just kind of always like being a hassle and yeah. making, making things worse. Mm. Um, but I never really thought that before. Yeah. So I've always, been like, <laughs> so it's new. there's new discoveries to be made. And I love Dwight. I love Dwight from okay. the office. He's like, I mean, of course I love Michael. Like I realize that Jim's kind of a dick on the office. Totally. Like a bully. Like you love say. him like for the first like seven watches. And then like, <laughs> <laughs> and then you get to that sweet number eight. And then, and then you're like, he's change. actually kind of a jerk. Yeah they sort of run in the background. So I go through them pretty quickly. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. It was kind of weird. Not weird at all. <laughs> well, in fact, uh, two of the least weird shows I could think of. Like if oh, you'd good. been like, Oh, I like watch over and over. I don't know. What's the like courage, the cowardly dog. That would be weird. I don't even know what that is. So really, no. it's a really spooky cartoon. Next one. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Money, women, fame of those three things. Which <laughs> one are you in it for the most? <laughs> I would Friend say definitely. The money. Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, well, men and fame. I mean, I have a nice boyfriend. I don't really care about being famous, but I, li- I like money. Okay. So. so we love money. That's a yeah. great answer. <laughs> oh, I could. I picked oh, pick two. two. Pick two. Okay. Read them in rapid succession. As super, our Superman's powers like kind of bullshit. <laughs> what happened to our friendship? <laughs> So here's what I have to tell you about that second one. Yeah. Um, it is very much an improv prompt or that's usually where I take it. I just didn't, I felt like because of the way that this happened, I like couldn't really go there. Cause usually I like lean forward really far and I'm like, what happened to him? <laughs> and I just see like what you say. Um, do you want to do it anyway? Let's do it anyway. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Uh, do you need to do some deep breaths? Okay. Should we take some deep breaths? <sighs> yeah. Should yeah. we shake it out? Okay. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to look away. Oh my goodness. What happened to our friendship? I have no idea who you are. <laughs> <laughs> it was a strong conclusion. Like, listen, like, there are times in which that scene does go. Oh, did further. I screw up and not keep it going? Well, okay, so like, you the, always the first say yes. Rule of improv yes is, and. in fact, yes. Yeah, and. okay. I know that from The Office. That being said, <laughs> <laughs> do you like The Office? Yeah. <laughs> it's come up, in fact. Um, okay, you know what? I think that. You won that game. Do you want me to answer I do. that one? I do. Um, I don't really know that I know what that question means. Are Superman's powers like kind of bullshit? I mean, are they? Uh, I'm trying to even think. What, he can fly. And he's, and he's super, super strong, strong. And he can't die. But cri- what's the kryptonite thing? That- That's the only thing that can hurt him. Nothing else can hurt mm. him. It's kind of bullshit. Kind of bullshit. Yeah, I guess it's bullshit. It's kind of bullshit. I mean, it's awesome and good for him. But yeah, I could see it being bullshit. bullshit. Like when we have Batman, you know, who's like got no powers. He's just like really rich. Like, well, that's a comment on the capitalism. Regardless, kind of But he has to be like clever with his tools and his belt. Right, and that's such a more interesting story. Well, I mean, I think there was something kind of all American about Superman Mm -hmm. was like this kind of strapping young lad who... But was it propaganda? It probably was propaganda, yeah. Okay, that was a good answer because... I think in this moment that I've just decided that Superman is propaganda and I can't wait to write that article. Look for it on popdesk.com. <laughs> yeah. Let's do one more. Okay. And then we will free you from this. <laughs> All right. Okay. Should people who put ketchup on eggs be put in prison? I would say no, they shouldn't be put in prison. That's mm-hmm. extreme. One of my best friends growing up, she did. And I always thought it was so weird when I went to their house what that they did What was her name? That. Sarah. Sarah. 
Should Sarah be put in prison? Sarah, no, absolutely not. I love Sarah. I think Sarah should be put in prison. I, I don't think so. She's she's actually like a parole of, or well, a corrections she's officer. Parole officer. So she could put you in prison. She could be, she could beat the shit out of me is what that means. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no. I have the arm strength of an uncooked rigatoni noodle. Or probation so. officer, that's it. She's a prob- that's even cooler. So no, you shouldn't put people in prison, but I do think ketchup on eggs is weird and I cannot relate to it. Okay, so what we're hearing is that people who put ketchup on eggs should go to prison. 